what's up guys, greetings of the year 2016. Hope you're all doing well. We have compiled some essential apps from 2015 to get you started with 2016. Make sure to check out our previous episodes if you feel your favorite app have been left out. Also leave your suggestions down below for upcoming episodes and without any further ado, let's begin. First up is News360. This is a personalized news app. Here you have all the news and articles based on topics we have chosen. You can tap and hold on any topic for these options. While reading any news or article, you can swipe left or right to navigate. From options, you can change font size and background as well. Swiping from the left will give you all the selected topics. And you can also change and arrange add topics like arts, music, technology, photography, science and so on. Or you can search for a new topic and add it to your reading list as well. From settings, you can choose location for the news so that you can get news according to it. Notification options, night mode and other options as well. You also get widgets showing all the highlights. So a great app to stay updated on current affairs with a very intuitive UI. Next that makes our list is Macrodroid. This is a powerful automation app allowing you to perform different actions. You can give different conditions to your phone and the phone will take actions accordingly, which is called macro in this app. Over here, I have my conditions like when the battery is below 30%, the phone automatically decreases its brightness and switches to airplane mode. Similarly, you can add your own condition. To add new condition, tap here and select the trigger from the given list. Here you get a huge list of automated devices like say when my headphones are connected I want my device to dim the display and switch to silent mode. So for this I can choose the option called insert headphones or remove. First I will program for insert option. So here's a list of action. First I'll choose control media, simulate media button and play and pause. And since I also want to dim my display I will choose my brightness action as well. Set the value and hit OK. Once that's done, I also want my phone to switch to silent mode. I'll be choosing vibrate and enable and choose vibrate when ringing on. Now if I connect my headphones, my music is automatically playing. The brightness is decreased as well as the phone in vibration mode. Quite interesting, you can even add certain restrictions to the actions you just defined. For example, I don't want this action to happen if the battery level is below 30% or while I'm roaming. So all in all, a great app to make your device perform what you want automatically. Swift Key Better This is by far one of the best keyboard app. From the looks of it, you can tell it's very stylish as well. I've had a really nice experience using this keyboard and the keys are well spaced and gesture typing is awesome with great prediction. From the sidebar, you can customize the keyboard layout as well, resize the keyboard, undock which is quite handy for multitasking, add number keys, gesture typing and so much more. Also you get option to theme your keyboard. Talking about the themes, we get a wide range of themes for your keyboard and you can download more from its own store. What a great keyboard app with lots of customization options. This is by far one of the best keyboard app with lots of customization options. Next on our list, Backdrops. This is amongst my favorite wallpaper apps. With this app, you get a variety of wallpapers categorized into different sections like scenery, geometry, minimal, abstract and so on. So uh, let's browse through scenery wallpaper. As you can see, we have really nice wallpaper and all the images are really high quality. Also, most of the wallpapers have minimalistic feel to it. So uh, definitely try this app. And next on our list, A to Z camera. Mostly with the default camera app, you don't get the full manual controls. With A to Z camera, you get all the manual controls with a very simple to use user interface. By default, all these settings are set to auto. 
and you can tap on any settings and adjust it from here. Like focus, white balance, ISO, shutter speed and exposures as well. You can swipe down for different effects, the same goes for videos as well. You have options for grid view, file format that is you can save the picture in either JPEG or RAW and give a timer. Additional features can be unlocked if you purchase the full version of the application as well. From settings you can choose a resolution for photos and videos, exposure and other settings. So a great app for those you want full control of your camera. Next up on our list we've got a Kine Master or is it Kine Master? I'm gonna pronounce it Kine Master in this video. This is one of the best video editing app for Android. You get a simple UI. This is a timeline. You can import your images or video clips and get started with the editing. Selecting the clip will give you additional tools to edit. For images you have crop tool, add filters, adjust the colors and so on. And with the video clips you get more options like video cropping, speed control and so on. You can also add various transition effects between two clips which really helps to make your video look professional. Once that's done you can play back the clip from here. On the left you have options to undo or redo and add theme to your video. Share or export the video and audio option. You can see your timeline on full screen if you have multiple layers. One thing I really love about this app is you can export your video in HD quality. So a great app to edit video. Next up we've got Snapseed. This is by far one of the best photo editing application and it has very simple UI with all the necessary tools required to edit photos. From here you can access all tools and filters. On the tools you have tune image where you get options like brightness, contrast, saturation and so on. Simply swipe up and down to choose between these options and swipe left or right to make changes. Then you have details, crop, rotate, heal which is great for portraits, vignette and so much more. One of my favorite thing in this app is the selective tool which allows me to select the area and make adjustments for that particular area only. Lower below we've got filters like lens blur to give that bokeh effect, HDR scape, vintage, black and white and so much more. Also you can do further adjustments to the filters applied. From here you can see all the effects applied to the picture. So a great photo editing application everyone should have. Next up one of the most powerful file explorer, ES File Explorer. This is the best app arguably for file management. And with the latest update we get a new look with additional features as well. With this app you can browse both the system as well as files on the internal memory. It's a powerful file manager as it can open any kind of file format. For an example you might download some zip files and try to open it but you don't need a separate third party app to unzip it. Likewise ES File Explorer offers built in music player, web browser, video player and other useful tools as well. One great feature with this app is you can also lock the app. Just select the app you want to lock and give it a pattern, as simple as that. You have additional support for Chromecast, root users, hide files, gesture support that is opening the files with a gesture, memory booster and so much more. You also get a widget which is really handy because you can place shortcuts to any of the folders on your home screen. Pravat has done an in-depth review of all these features which I'll leave a link in the description down below. So a must-have file manager app for everyone. Next on our list, OmniSwipe. 
This app is a great tool to quickly access your shortcuts, recent apps and toggles. After installation and setup, all you have to do is swipe from either bottom corners and you can access all your recent apps, favorite apps and some useful toggles. You can also launch OmniSwipe while using apps or playing games. To rearrange the icon on the launchpad, tap and hold the app icon and you're good to go. Another add-on with this app is you get a small widget on the side to clear your memory. From this app you can apply different themes. Change notification settings and other options as well. So a great app for multitasking as you can quickly perform different actions. Next on our list we have this utility that should not be missed and it's the office suit. These are official apps from Microsoft. You have individual apps for your documents, presentations and spreadsheets. Each app comes with all the tools required for it. Like in Word app you have all the necessary tools for your documents. PowerPoint has all the tools for presentation and likewise for Excel. Basically, you're getting all the features that you get with a desktop version of this Microsoft Office. So that wraps up this video guys. I hope you found this video useful. I will be coming with more episodes pretty soon. Stay tuned for more and you guys have a great day.